Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read Sophia the First, The Secret Library, by Craig Gerber and Katherine Hapka, and illustrated by Grace Lee. This book was published by Disney Press in 2015. Ever since Sophia became a princess, her life has been full of adventure. Today, Sophia, Amber, and James are racing. Sophia and Minimus are about to win when a flying horse blocks their way. Aunt Tilly! Sophia exclaims. She loves when her aunt comes to visit. Back at the castle, Tilly asks Sophia if she has read the book Tilly gave her. I'm still in chapter 12, Sophia admits. Wait till you get to chapter 17, Tilly says. That's my favorite. When Sophia gets to her room, she turns to chapter 17 and finds a smaller book hidden in the pages there. It tells of secret passageways hidden all through Enchantia Castle. Suddenly, Sophia's amulet glows blue. It leads her to a wall where she discovers one of the passageways. Sophia follows her amulet's light through the opening and into a maze of passageways under the castle. Finally, she comes out beside an underground canal where there's a boat waiting for her. The boat takes her to a stairway, leading to a pair of locked doors. The lock is shaped like her book. Could the book be the key? Sophia tries it, and it works. Wow, where am I? Sophia wonders. The familiar voice answers, In the secret library. It's Aunt Tilly. She says the library is filled with real-life stories that need endings. She tells Sophia she is the storykeeper. It's the storykeeper's job to help finish the stories, she explains. And now, I'm hoping that job will be yours. You want me to be the storykeeper? Sophia asks. Aunt Tilly nods. Here comes your first story now. A magical book flies off the shelf. It's called The Tale of Wild Wing Valley. It's the story of a flying horse named Mazimo. He lived in a royal stable, but longed to be wild. So he left, in search of a place called Wild Wing Valley, where enchanted animals roam free. But Mazimo was captured by Prince Roderick and taken to the prince's castle in Berea. That's awful, Sophia exclaims. It will be, Tilly says, unless you give the story a better ending. But Sophia is not sure she can do it on her own, so Aunt Tilly agrees to help her just this once. They hurry to the stables. When Sophia tells Minimus about her mission, He's stunned. Mazimo is his long-lost brother. They fly to Berea and soon find the royal stable. It's huge and everything is trimmed in gold. Mazimo must be in there somewhere, Sophia tells Aunt Tilly. So they decide to split up and start searching the stable. Sophia and Minimus find Mazimo in a locked stall. Good to see you, bro, says Mazimo. Now can you get me out of here? Minimus looks around, confused. But this is the nicest stable ever. Why would you want to leave? Yeah, it's nice, Mazimo says. But a cozy cage is still a cage. I'd rather be free. Maybe we can talk about this after we get out of here. Sophia says. But it's too late. Prince Roderick arrives with his stable master. The prince seems friendly at first, 
until Sophia explains that they are here because Mazima wants to be free. You mean Thundercloud? He says, pointing at Mazimo. He's my horse now. Can you believe he named me that? Mazimo mutters. Come on, Thundercloud, Prince Roderick says. Let's go for a ride. Then Sophia gets an idea. When the prince opens the stall door, Sophia yanks on the rope he's holding to distract him. Fly for it, Mazimo, she yells. Mazimo bursts out of the stall and flies away. Sophia and Tilly jump on their horses and follow. They did it! They freed Mazimo! Or did they? They hear a shout behind them. It's Prince Roderick and his stable master chasing after them. Wild Ling Valley is just ahead, Mazimo says. Let's try to lose them in the gorges, Sophia shouts. They fly incredibly fast, turning this way and that through the twisty, turny gorges. They lose the prince, but Minimus is mad at his brother. Finding this valley is all you care about, he says. When you took off, you didn't just leave the stable, you left mom and dad and me. Minimus is so upset, he doesn't notice a tree up ahead. Look out, Sophia cries. He flies straight up to miss the tree. Sophia can't hold on. Gotcha, Aunt Tilly cries, catching Sophia just in time. But Tilly's magical bag got knocked loose. As they land, they look up to see that Prince Roderick has caught up with them and captured Minimus and Mazimo. Sophia and her aunt need Tilly's magical bag more than ever, so they split up to find it. Sophia searches high and low, but with no luck. She feels like she hasn't been a very good storykeeper so far. She lost Minimus and Mazimo. Maybe she's not the right person for the job. Sophia notices her amulet glowing, and then, thunk! An arrow flies into a tree beside her. Sophia turns and gasps when she sees Princess Merida step into view. Sophia's amulet brought her to help. When Merida hears Sophia's story, she smiles. All you need is the belief that you can save them yourself. If you believe in yourself and what you can do, your aim will always be true. Could Princess Merida be right? Maybe Sophia can do it. As Sophia runs back through the forest, she spots Aunt Tilly's horse and jumps on. Soon they catch up to Minimus and Mazimo, who are tied to Prince Roderick's horse. Just as Sophia jumps on to Minimus and unties him, Prince Roderick sees her. All Sophia has is Tilly's umbrella and an idea. She swoops around, hooks the prince's belt with the umbrella, and yanks him off his horse. Then she sends Aunt Tilly's horse back for her and unties Mazimo. At last he is free. Mazimo leads the way to the land of his dreams, Wildwing Valley. It's beautiful. Minimus turns to his brother. After being captured by Prince Roderick, I finally understand how you feel, cooped up in a stable. We may be different, says Mazimo, but you're my brother, and I love you. Minimus smiles. I love you, too. When they return to the secret library, Aunt Tilly congratulates Sophia for finishing her first story. So what's next? Sophia asks. Aunt Tilly smiles. Have a seat and find out, storykeeper. The end. Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow us for new episodes posted daily.